Hey guys, it's Olivia Kaiser. Thank you for tuning in to season 39 of the challenge Battle for New Champ. Make sure to tune in also to the Zach Nichols podcast. Welcome back to the Zach Nichols podcast. I'm here with my co-host, Mr. Zach Nichols. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving. everybody. Thanksgiving. We have another champion winner in the house, Miss Olivia Kaiser. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh, wait, did I forget challenge finalist? Crazy. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations on your first challenge. Thank you. Give her another round of applause, please. Wow, I love the sound effects. <laughs> that sets you up, though. Honestly, I need this, like in a speaker in my room every morning when I wake up. Yeah. Like, congratulations, you're up. <laughs> you woke up. God gave you another day. Um, uh, some fan. I was just at Challenge Mania Live over the weekend, and mm -hmm. some fans told me I have to introduce myself and say my name. So my name is Pierre. I run Goat Media. You know what it is. Producing the show, and we're happy to be here. So um, Nashville was really fun. Uh, I know you have a relationship with Challenge Mania. You have some events on the books, right? I do. I do. I'm going to... Indiana? Indianapolis, I Indianapolis. think. Yeah. yeah. How do you know more than I do? I don't know. But because I'm tracking you, girl. Thank God. Someone is. <laughs> and I forgot what I did yesterday, to be honest. <laughs> well, uh, that's going to be really fun. For those of you guys who haven't been to one of those events, man, they were, uh, they're were they awesome. They're so much fun. Scott and Derek um, hosted a, a bash. Um, and I got this little uh, this little t-shirt, this little hall brawl t-shirt. Um, have you ever, you have been in hall brawl? You've been in hall brawl? I was in a the, knockoff hall brawl, we'll the, call it. I don't know what you want yeah. to call it. It was like the hall brawl with like the uh, the pole. The pole. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It, was it? Yeah. Were, were you guys? Who were you guys against? Johnny and Raven? Or, or? yeah. It, okay. Osteo versus Johnny. Me versus Raven. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Gave him the business. Yeah, that was wild. I didn't see. So I, that's like towards the beginning of the season. So I I mm -hmm. didn't end up finishing it, but I do remember you guys dominated that one. Yeah, and actually, it's crazy because obviously everyone doesn't know behind the scenes, but the night before. We were like parting our asses off. I was so hungover. And they're like, oh, surprise, we have an elimination. I was like, what? And also I was blind. And also I, this is why I drank. Because I was promised, I don't know if you guys remember the episode at all. I was promised by Tommy and Annalise that they were going to save us. And yeah. we would save them in return. Oh, yeah, yeah, and they totally blindsided snakes. us. And so I was not prepared to go in. So I was like literally like breathing through the hangover. And they're like, oh, we're going to, you know, Whoa. screw you guys over and go in. And I was like, Oh, so this is what they're doing. Right. Okay. They're, they're letting me get rocked. Yeah. And then smacking us up. But they're or trying to. Their karma got them back. Yeah. And honestly, like, to be honest, like, if that's the worst thing they did to me, I'm cool. Like, they're, they're, I actually don't mind them both. They're really cool. Yeah. No, yeah, that's fine. That was fun. Your first season, you made it to the final. We know what happened. We'll get into all that. Um, but, uh, uh, just to recap that, make sure you guys check out Olivia. I know you're doing an event here in Detroit here uh, on Friday, if you want to mm -hmm. plug that real quick. I don't, I don't know where you're going to be at. People want to see you because people have been asking me, like, I want to see Olivia. I want to see Olivia. I literally do I have my phone because I don't even remember the fucking spot. You're at the Bosco on, on Friday. Here? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Cuss it I was up. like, can I cuss? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Sorry, it slips out. Fuck yeah. Um, I don't remember what club it was. What is it? The you Bosco. Know more than I do. Yeah, the Bosco. The Bosco. So she'll be there. The I know oh, you guys, it's in uh, Ferndale. Oh. Yeah. It's okay, yeah, I'm hosting a club this Friday. When is this coming out? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Hey, right, guys, if you're in the Detroit area, I'm going to be at Bosco yeah. on Friday night. And yeah, let's go party. Yeah. All my friends have been wanting to meet you. And I'm like, you guys got to get in line like everybody else. So <laughs> tell them to come on Friday. I told them. I told them. So go there. Know. Drop a bag. Drop a bag on her. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. So um, we're going to get into all things uh, Olivia. Uh, just the way that we do the show. Uh, just so you know, is we'll go through the episode and then we're going to dive into everything you got going on. Perfect. Let's, do it. Good? let's do it. Wow. Okay. You're so professional with your notes. I'm obsessed. I keep it. You know what I'm saying? We keep it. Because I. I have a lot of things specifically because I, I like your perspective. We got the challenger perspective, a finalist, yeah. and you were there. So yeah. let's get into it. He used to print me out notes, but I think he saw after a couple He of like episodes. literally throws them by his head. He's like, eh, okay. You probably <laughs> noticed that I would never read them. Yeah, no. No, not, <laughs> not once. No, no. Okay. So um, you guys return uh, from the house after Kylan's elimination win, and you know that the clock is ticking for chaos. I'm sure mm -hmm. some of you guys had an idea that something was happening since there are no vets, but like, what was the overall feeling in the house mm -hmm. at that moment? I think we were all ready at this point. I think that competing as a team, for me personally, it was fine because I was like, well, cool, I'm safe like for a while, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's kind of just, it's just not the same. Like there's no, there's not as much of fire under you because money, I mean, obviously everyone loves money and it's my opinion, right? But there, to me, there's more than money. I wanted to get, I wanted to prove myself again. I wanted to get my redemption. I wanted to get a title. So for me to just to win money every time we're playing as a team, I was like, if we lost, I was like, oh, whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, gonna, and that's my truth. Maybe it's not like the right thing to say. Well, but you probably make money outside of the show. So you're I, like, yeah. if I make 
at the end of the day, if I take home, because there was prizes for second and mm-hmm. third. So like, mm-hmm. okay, if I make an extra five grand mm-hmm. because of this challenge, right? that doesn't really make or break me. Yeah. You would give five grand to win a challenge, mm-hmm. be a challenge champion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense to me too, where it's like, I could see where there's just like, all I have to do is exist mm-hmm. and I'm not going mm-hmm. in because mm-hmm. you're protected. This is stupid. It's all one person and it's just for the final yeah. prize pot. So especially yeah. socially, like, Nobody's voting you in right now. Yeah, no. You're pretty plugged up in this house. Yeah, I was probably the safest one, to be honest. Which is impressive for only your second challenge. Uh Yeah. It was. I don't know, for real, not a lot of, like, you, a lot of people take some several seasons before people are like, okay, you get to... I mean, I would like to like attribute it to a lot of things. I think one, no one wanted to go against me because I'm I'm a bit like a taller, bigger girl. Talk your shit. You know? Talk your shit. But also like, I, I, I'm kind to everyone I meet. I have a good time and I get to know people and I, you know, it's, I guess, social, a social game, but to me, it's just who I am. You took the words out of my mouth. You're a competitor and you're very cool. You're very kind. Mm-hmm. Everything that you would want to have in the house. Um, yeah. the, so the, you wake up every day and you're, you're just ready to talk to people. I, <laughs> okay. So for me, no, I'm gonna be honest with you. For me, after, I wake on level 10 yeah, every day for me after like the second or third week, I'm like, dude, I don't want to have any more conversations. And that's kind of yeah. where I just like, become a recluse and i'm like did you guys talk to zach today i would be like yeah. i don't talk to anyone but like the happens. people but the people who can maintain that mm-hmm. social energy mm-hmm. they do make it further and that's important and i've heard mm-hmm. from josh actually josh told us he's like dude social level like just always can talk to anyone like, talk, like you said talk to a wall yeah. yeah that's a thing it is a thing and so i was definitely i would say very safe um for a fact, I know I was safe. So Josh, oh sorry to interrupt you. Go no, ahead. no, you're fine. No, no. So I was just saying, like I was to bring it back. Yeah. Uh, the chaos. We were excited. I was especially excited because I was like, finally, this has to mean that we're breaking up into some kind of team, some kind of teams, whatever it may be. I was ready for it. Um, we knew it was gonna come just because, um, you know, you gotta get that itch in the house where you kind of know something's happening. Yeah, yeah. And Things I don't get stagnant, and that doesn't happen for very long. And if I get bored in the house, someone knows something's wrong. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm always like, I'm like talking to a fucking wall by myself. They're like, are you good? I'm like, no. Yeah. Well, we need some action. Yeah. So do you also think too, like your first season, like every day is new. You're like, what's gonna happen? Mm-hmm. So now you've made it to a final, and so now you're starting again. And you probably came into this house thinking like, wow, there's a lot of people here. Because the show, it's a yeah. different show when you start yeah. and there's 30 people there to when you get done and there's only like six or seven or eight. Yeah. It's a different show. So in my head, a lot of times I'd be like, can we just fast forward until there's like 12 people here? Oh. So those first three or four weeks after you've made it through a, the whole a whole season, mm. the next season you do, the f- making it, you're just like, I just got to get rid of everyone. And then I can start to play. Yeah. It's weird how no, all that trim in the fat That's fat like the best way here. to explain it because, Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Trim yeah. Trim yeah. When, the new, when people talk, when you've been through the rigor. also, this is the craziest thing for me. Like, I would like to dub myself as humble. I mean, people can say what they want, but I do try my best to always stay humble. And so, I was obviously a finalist. I never really talked about it much with anyone. Um, I kind of could sense when some people were jealous or some people didn't think I deserved it. Oh, yeah. People talk their shit. I will guarantee it. Almost everyone on that on my season this season, whether they know it or not, I know who talked their shit and said I didn't deserve to be there. Um, and that's cool because, like, guess what? I still made it. <laughs> well, but time out. You know, you didn't deserve to be there. Why? How many elimination rounds? Because I was going? told, I was, I heard, I was told that Arasu carried me all 38, and I was told um, that I got lucky. I was told, you know, I was, I was told it, a lot of things by people. You know, it does take a good amount of luck to even make it that. A far. million percent. Every million single percent. season that I made to the final. I can attribute a good mm-hmm. percentage of it to luck. So, yep. but there's always, I mean, a lot of people will tell me that my win, it was like on an easy season and maybe it was, but guess what? You I still won. Yeah, I still yeah. won. Like get over it guys. Like who cares? I never thought about it this way until I got into the, the talking with, with you guys. And it's just, okay. But what they're forgetting to understand is even though you went into elimination, your political game in terms of making a friend out of Horacio, boom, you know what I'm saying? Like you have yeah. that connection to, to, to make, you know, relationships with people, strong, weak, whatever, people want you, you there. So, like, for him, having him as your ride or die, hey, if he carried you, that's a relationship you built. Everyone can go fuck themselves. Yeah. To he be real. Me as, well, I mean, I picked him, I guess, as my ride or die. But, yeah, I mean, it's like. And here's I, the other thing. Yeah. We'll see. At the end of this season, if mm-hmm. you end up in or near a final, mm-hmm. can you really refute it at that point? Right. Because what it looks like, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to confirm or deny, but it looks like, you know, the game's going to change and. 
we could or could not be in teams. So we'll see. We'll you know, see what we'll goes on. Fun. We'll see what goes yeah. on. Did you hear rumors before you started this season? Like, there's not going to be any bets on it that can win? Or yeah. did you go, okay, so you knew that. Did that make you a little bit nervous going into it? Or did that make you excited? No, because I feel like my rookie season was so hard and there was no chance other than just fighting so yeah. i feel like that actually was a blessing in disguise because it prepared me for like any other season and the respect factor for you is through the roof yeah. because of that yeah i mean from us I, at least from me you. for yeah. sure yeah i think that for me definitely like coming on especially coming from love island yeah i mean come on you guys like i'm yeah. not an idiot like this yeah, yeah. love island like what do you have to do there other than make out and like strip tease on guys like i still won but you know <laughs> hello but um yeah, I think people have definitely underestimated me. I'm very goofy. I'm very flamboyant. I'm very like, hey, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I, I know my roots. I'm from Alaska. I was raised by a strong male that raised me to be a tomboy, believe it or not. So I can do both. You know, I just am me. Absolutely. So, so people want to doubt me. Don't care. We're at in Alaska. Anchorage. Anchorage. Mm -hmm. so that's like the capital, correct? No, Juno's the Juneau, capital. Juneau's the capital. But, but Anchorage, Anchorage is the big like, city. It's mm -hmm. the big city. It right? should be the capital, probably. But yeah. Okay, that would yeah. look stupid. But so. You didn't have trivia. You, yeah, you didn't have the blinds on your window, no. so you had to deal with twenty three yeah. hours of light. So in Alaska, like I would say, August to May, it's dark at four p.m. till eleven a.m. And then, in, when we're younger, we're in school, so like we don't see the light of day, right? And then the summer, it's it's the land of the midnight sun, so it is bright all day yeah. every day. We'd be partying, playing beer pong in our like friends' houses, right? And we'd be like, oh, it's like what twelve. It's 5 a.m. Yeah. We don't sleep. So, yeah, my dad never let me have blackout blinds because he wanted me to get up and at them and uh, be productive human, I guess. There you go. Thanks, Dad. So what time do you wake okay. up when it's bright for 24 hours? Like, Or how like long do you sleep? 5.30, 6.30 a.m. Oh, that's still not that early. Oh, yeah, you're a dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dad. <laughs> no, well, I know. He's Jenna, an old dad, too. Yeah, Jenna doesn't sleep. Like you. Want, oh, my God, the poor thing. She never sleeps, ever. Maybe. Oh, I would be a raging bitch. For longer than an hour or and a half tops. I swear. She's got it. It's terrible. Our kids are bad. They're, they're bad. wild kids. They're just kids. They'll, they'll but be, they're, they're kids, but I'm saying like at they're night, challenge like, kids. Yeah. they wake up. You bred the most fucking they wake up insane kids. They I wake bet. up a lot. They wake up a lot, and she handles almost a lot of that percentage. <laughs> yeah. But I wake up every day yeah. at 3 a.m. Yeah. That's when I wake up because like, no, no one else is awake, and no one can bother me. <laughs> that's you get the workout it's in. your meditation hour. so before we go back to the episode yeah, yeah. from alaska i've always wanted to go to alaska yeah. i've been to montana and that stuff so what's the craziest animal you've ever eaten and what's the craziest animal you've ever shot oh okay the craziest animal i've ever eaten is a porcupine that's insane i wasn't expecting and a black bear black bear is disgusting Ooh, it's, heard it's really fatty disgusting. like pig no it's um it's, it's like gamey do you guys ever have yeah. you guys ever had moose or like anything yep. like that Love or a deer some jerky stuff so it's like ga a little gamey yeah, yeah deer can be kind of gamey but deer can also yeah not. it just depends on how quickly it was cleaned up so you ate a porcupine yeah <sighs> i had a dare or? I, actually no actually this is the craziest thing i've ever eaten i've eaten raw liver voluntarily what why because my dad's you guys have no idea my dad's oh, a lumberjack so he, he my dad it. is a fucking lumberjack so that reminds me of you he, like <laughs> My dad is like very like. What type of animal did he cut it out of? Oh my god! Right, I never asked him. So a did, duck. A duck. Oh, that's not too bad. So, so gross. How that's does, not too wait, bad. How does one prepare and serve a porcupine? Um, I don't know. I never cooked that. Any like but you no ate way. It. Yeah, because so we <laughs> we ran over it, and so my dad's like, oh, let's just like try it out, right? It's just meat, like whatever. Um. And yeah, he like we were like plucking the little like quills out. Oh yeah. And I just remember like just playing with the quills, poking myself or something because I was crazy. And yeah, he cooked it up and it tasted just like chicken. That's but I wild. didn't eat it. I didn't eat it like a, like a, we just tried it. Yeah. Like, honestly, why is it giving cannibalism? <laughs> so he roasted it. He roasted it. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't like he made like a stew because I've eaten squirrel. Yeah, like, squirrel stew. But yeah, they did it in like a stew. So you're yeah. like, this could be any type of meat. Squirrel kind of like is a Chinese restaurant. This could be dog. I don't know. <laughs> so honestly, my dad probably has fed me things I don't know, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to know. He sounds awesome. We need him on a change. Yeah, that's what I'm meeting up with in uh, Ohio. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna be in Ohio. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alaska to Ohio. Alaska to Ohio. Actually, I was trying to get my dad on the Bachelor no as the way. as the Golden Bachelor. That would be yeah. Dope. He's single and he's like really attractive as my dad, and he's just like that guy. Like he's successful. He's fucking G. What's his name? John. John for Golden Bachelor. We're going to make that happen. John We're, Kaiser. John Kaiser. We're starting the campaign right now. I would probably be so embarrassed. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
He's gonna be embarrassed until he has all these honeys in his DMs seeing what's up. I know. He already gets girls, trust me. I'm sure. Um uh, <laughs> all right, we'll get back to it. Uh by the way, that's how we do the show. If you want to have any random rant, do your thing. Um, okay, so uh during dinner, Asaf kind of mentions to Corey that others, you know, don't love each other the way that they do. And uh Corey like nods in agreement, you know, as if Yeah. Yeah, as if that's all I can so Okay, and this is another big... So I'm watching this, right? Yeah. And there's Asaf, who I know don't really know a lot about, but he's like there and he's like, I'm playing such a good political game. Like, I'm in this corner, I'm in that corner. Like, every no one knows I'm working with the Americans except for Jay. And in my head, I'm like, is he just doesn't understand that, like, he really isn't playing that great of a game. But is he being fed bullshit or is he just oblivious to what's going on in the house? Because I think sometimes the foreign kids are oblivious to what's going on in the house and they're yeah. in their head they're like oh he's nice to me we're good whereas like people are like no asaf is like sacrificial lamb <laughs> can't read the room is he a obli- can he not read the room is he that oblivious because Corey even said it too Corey goes every single person would have voted you in but he's sitting there telling everyone how great of a honestly spot he's in. i feel like it comes like you just said i feel like it comes down to the path of least resistance right I don't know where he got off thinking that he was going to be so safe. Um, I didn't speak to him before the house at all. Didn't know him at all. And then it doesn't really show it now, but as somewhere along the way, we became in an alliance where I was kind of like, wait, did I choose this for myself? I don't know. We like, kinda, you know how that happens. Yeah, sometimes. There's layers to an alliance. Totally. I just feel like he's like, he's just the easiest. I mean, and this is like, you know, and no shade to him. This is just, I know because I've heard it from other people. So this is not me saying this, but I will, you know, relay the message. He was just the path of, le- of least resistance. Um, and if he got mad, no one was going to get, I guess, the wrath as if they put someone else in. You know what I mean? And got also, you. yeah. Got, see, well, that makes much more only, sense. Like, that's what I'm watching. I'm like, dude, you're also, saying you're so good, but then everyone else is kind of like. No, I know that. No, because if you if you pay attention close to some of these episodes, um, people actually were like a little bit nervous to be partnered with him just because he is such a sweet guy. He really is. He really is a great guy. He's an amazing dad. He loves his son. talks about him 24 seven. Um, that's his, that's his why. And so he's great. But I think that he's a little bit too open and honest about what he's feeling in moments of people that he shouldn't be talking to. Mm -hmm. And with that, you, when you're in an alliance, in my opinion, you got to keep a tight lip. Even and with your it, alliance members. T- absolutely. You have to, you know, yeah. it's like, it's like, and I speak a lot, but there is moments and you'll see me in a lot of these clips. I'm kind of not speaking. I'm always like resting bitch face, you know, cause I like to listen and I'll like load it in my brain and come back later with an, yeah. with an answer. So he just over speaks. Um, and I think that he also was banking on other people that he trusted to run his alliance for him as well. Right. No, that makes a lot more sense. In my head, I'm thinking like, okay, if he's a U.S. number, if he's a ride or yeah. die number, why wouldn't you go after a U.K. number? But if you're saying, hey, mm-hmm. you know, the alliance is not going to backlash the way you might think and he's not that important of a number, yeah. you know, you don't want to. You he Corey would rather have one a soft mad at him than yes. all the UKs. And that, that makes more sense. Yeah, but also, do you guys feel this way? Like, I didn't know this in the house. I was kind of, I'm kind of in my own world, to be honest, a lot of the times. Yeah. But like watching back and like, everyone's like, yeah, I'm with the US, but I'm pretending I'm with UK. I'm like, doesn't that mean you're playing both sides? Yeah, that's exactly Because like, what the fuck is that? Well, like, I'm obviously not playing both sides. I'm not, I'm not even befriending the UK people because I'd rather not get close to someone and like screw them over, to be yeah, honest. That's just smart. my gameplay. But like, I'm like, I'm t- telling the UK that I have their back. That I'm like, so you're safest in the house then because you're playing both sides yeah. until it doesn't serve you and you win and then you have to make a move. Like, I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't mind it. Zach's a notorious French that. rider. Yeah, he loves I it. like it if you're doing it for yourself. Well, so, there's the thing, there's one thing about like cutting deals and there's another thing about just like being like, making sure you're present in the middle man. Yeah, because listen, if you're in alliance with people, they're not going to vote you in. But if you're yeah. friends with other people, they're going to go against the people who have never talked to them. So it is like that's the thing you. Ha- I have yeah. to. You have to because I'm not necessarily a fan of people who do that in real life. But if I'm playing yeah. a game for a million dollars, like I'm going to try to make sure I'm good with yeah, as no. many people as possible. Well, no, no, that makes sense. That's so that makes sense. But this is not how it was. Yeah, this was go, and this is not just a soft. This is a couple people, and we'll see as the episodes come out. Multiple people would be making deals with the UK and promising certain things and then doing the same thing with us and like running back to us, pretending to tell us tea. No, they weren't. 
They were literally playing both sides. And at the end of the day, that's fine for your game in that season. But watching back, none of us are going to trust you ever again. Well, yeah, there's one thing about doing it and then also being a public, like, billboard of it. Exactly. That's oh, you know I cannot wait for you guys to see what's happening next. Like it's all like I used to have a lot of like those types of conversations. Like should be done. I'm like, hey, like camera's not around. Like don't vote for me. I won't vote for you. Cool, good. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Less but, like, is more. When you're yeah. doing it all in front of the camera, like it's yeah, you're right. Your shelf life is not, not great. Be very good. Uh, yeah, it not should great. take a couple of seasons for people to try to figure that out. But when you're advertising it, advertising, yeah, kind of mm -hmm. like what Raven did in the first episode. Like, oh, geez. little dirt squirrel running all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about raven that's one of my that's one of my questions from later but i want to drop it now what did you yeah. feel whenever raven took this information that's ride or die information and gives it directly to the uk side that concludes the free preview of the zach nichols podcast so go to patreon and subscribe to see the rest of the shit that we talk go do it now